All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is April 12th. We have a bunch of MLB games to jump into today. And we're doing MLB, we're doing NBA. The NBA video will be coming out in an hour if you are watching this at the time of posting. For the MLB, we got the play-in game, so go check that out. It'll be live at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. This is coming out at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. Last night was not our night. Going one and three in the MLB. And I told you guys, you know, we, this is going to be a work in progress. We're going to work through it together. But one and three in the MLB here last night. Not the best. And our ride of the day looks like it's not coming through. I'm recording this the night before. So the Mariners, who we rode with Pagong here, who's also a member of the channel, not looking too good for them. Um, they are end of the sixth here, down four to nothing. So maybe they come back and maybe we at least get a win with the ride of the day there. But as of right now, it's not looking too great. But I'm just being transparent the fact that these tonight's games are not over yet totally. Uh, we're trying to get a head start on all of these games for tomorrow, which, which reading the comments from last and getting a couple DMs from you guys either on the Discord or on Twitter, people are saying, hey, there's so many MLB games. Don't go in. Don't, don't, don't go diarrhea of the mouth, Evan. Do not give so much information. Just give us our lean. Give us your lean. Tell us why and move on to the next game. So we will try to adopt that. You guys know I can talk a mile a minute and forever and ever and ever. I could talk to a wall if I needed to, but we are going to try and cut that down a little bit. And we'll try and go through these games and get you guys, I guess, what you're looking for rather than the, uh, you know, the, the, the fluff, which uh, obviously... I'll take the criticism. I'll take the feedback. We'll do that. But uh, guys, before we get into the video, I'm going to ask you guys, please hit that subscribe button. I would truly appreciate it. But half the, half the people that watch this video are not subscribed. So let's try and change that. And also hit that like button. And if you want to become a baller, we'll play the music. If you want to become a baller, make sure to hit that join button. It's next to the subscribe button if you are on a computer. And it's also going to be in the pinned comments. $2.99 a month. You get access to some exclusive perks on the channel. And it really does support the channel. So I thank everyone here that we have. And uh, like we always do, we'll rattle through these names real quick to give my thanks. But also, you know, I, I see the people being like, why do you thank? Why do you thank and take so much time to say thank you? That type of thing. I'll take it as criticism. I don't know if I'm going to change it. I'll always say thank you when it's due. But we have Dennis, Alex, The Anchor, Ricky, Jimmy, Keenan, Zapata, Jameson, Pancho, Corey, The Roof Doctor, Julian, Nick, McPaxton, John, Larry, Pagong, who is right of the day today, uh, Drew, Corey, Trady, Sherwin, Edwin, Carmelita, Eric, Expect, Thomas, Sam, Harold, and Fizz. I do thank you guys so much for your support each and every month. I do really appreciate it, guys. That link, again, if you want to become a baller, if you want to be shouted out, if you want to be included in these videos, make sure to uh, check out that link in the pinned comment. But we'll go through each and every game. I'll give you my lean, but my final plays will be in the pinned comment, like always. Let's get into it here. We have the Tigers taking on the Red Sox here. Tigers at home, plus 115 on the money line. Both teams are one and two to start the year. Playing last night, the Tigers, technically tonight, but I'm going to have to remember that, right? Because it's coming out tomorrow. Tigers take the win 3-2-1 against Boston. Um, looking like some good stats for the over. They're over 6-0 in the Red Sox last six games as a favorite. 6-0 in their last six games versus a starter with a whip, less than 1.15. And the Sox are 6-0 in their last six games versus a starter with a whip, less than 1.15 as well. I am a Boston fan. So we're going to be leaning the Red Sox and the over in this one. And I love it because 51% of the public, just a little bit more than half, 51% of the public are on Detroit here. So we're going to be leaning Boston on the money line in this one. Next up, we have the Reds taking on the Cleveland. It, can't say that. The Cleveland. In, nope. The Cleveland Guardians. I got to get used to saying that. The Reds taking on the Cleveland Guardians here. The Reds plus 100 here on the money line at home. The total is Eight and a half. And if you look at some of the trends here, the over is 4-0 and oh in Mahale's last four interleague starts. I think I'm saying that name so wrong, but you guys know I can't pronounce anything for crap. 4-0 uh, oh in his last four starts in the American League Central. 4-0 oh in their last home games. All to the over there, those 4 0s. The other thing is, it kind of counters it here. When we look at Bieber's last starts, the Gardens are 4-0 oh in the last four Tuesday starts. They're under his 3-0-1 oh in, in the last four interleague road games versus a right-hand starter. I'm looking at this one saying, okay. Guardians won us money yesterday. We might as well be loyal to them. Hit that, but also we're going to be leaning the over. So we're going to be leaning Cleveland here, money line, and the over 8.5. Next up, we have the White Sox taking on the Seattle Mariners here. The total is 9.5. Chicago is minus 130 to the money line, and I think Seattle is letting us down tonight. So honestly, 
we're going to be heading over there and looking at the White Sox, see if they can come through for us. So we're going to be leaning White Sox here, um, playing decent baseball, 2-1 and one on the season. We're going to be leaning White Sox in this one as the Mariners don't look like they're coming through for us at all tonight. Um, next up, we have the Pirates taking on the Cubs. Cubs are 2-1 and one to start the year. Pirates at home, minus 110 on the money line. They are 1-2 and two so far. 51% of the public is on the Pirates. Money is split right down the middle here. Pittsburgh is 5-0-2 oh, in their last seven overall when it comes to the over. And their over is 3-0-1 oh, in their last four games as a home underdog. The over is 4-0-1 oh, in the Cubs' last five games following an off day. And the over is 7-0 in, oh, in, the, in the Cubs' last seven games versus a left-handed starter. I'm liking what I'm seeing there. The total is 9. I could see this one getting to 10 easy. My lean on this game is going to be the over. Next up, we're looking at Tampa Bay taking on the Athletics here. The A's, 13-2 win over the Rays last night, which we definitely did not see coming here. Um, Athletics 0-4 in the last four Tuesday games. Do they get right back to being, you know, a team that can get beat when Tampa Bay can come through and be like, you know what? We just got smoked. Let's go cash. In terms of odds here, we have Tampa Bay minus 215 money line and the run line is minus 105 at one and a half there. I think this is probably a game where we just stay away from. I think the total at eight and a half is a little bit tempting. So I'm going to lean the over in the total here, but I don't know where this game goes in terms of money line or run line. So just being transparent with you guys, my lean on this one is going to simply be the over. Next up, we have the Phillies taking on the Mets. Total is an eight and a half here. Philly at home, minus 165 on the money line here. Um, <clears throat> Philly is the uh, Phillies are 4-0 in Wheeler's last four starts as a favorite. Good to see that because we are looking to lean with the Phillies here. We're going to go with the favorite in this one. 57% um, of the money here, or 57% of the public here are also on Philly. So we're riding with the public in this one. We're going to be leaning Philly here. Um, money line, I don't like the run line. Uh, plus 130 odds tells me it doesn't have a great chance of happening. I can totally see this one staying to about, uh, you know, one or two, just like it did yesterday. So we are going to be leaning here. Philly money line, but I'm not touching that run line. Next up, the Yanks taking on the Blue Jays. Yankees plus or Yankees minus 120 here. 100% of the money looks like it's on um, the Yankees as of right now. Heavy leans coming in towards the Yankees with the early here, um, the early numbers indications. The Yankees, I will say this, 0 and 5 the last five games with a total set at 11 or higher. So when you're looking at this and it opens up at 11, it's 10 right now. I will give them that. 10 right now you know you're looking at this that's a trend where the Yankees look like they're supposed to have this barn burning sort of performance in game maybe it doesn't come through right now they are about to lose to the Jays 2 3 nothing top 9 so you know what I think we lean against the Yankees again I don't hate doing it you get even odds here plus 100 on the money line to the Jays I'm gonna be leaning Toronto in this one guys I will say one more time Make sure you do check out the pinned comment. That is where all my final plays will be. I understand I'm going and flying through these, but that's because we have a million games to get to, and you guys said in yesterday's video you don't want to be watching an hour-long video on these, so I'm trying to cut to the chase, um, but I hope you guys do respect that. But next up, we have the Orioles hosting the Brewers here. Orioles are 0-3 oh as of right now. We're just going to lean Brewers. They are a better team. I do trust them a little bit more. They're coming off of a 2-0 loss to the Orioles last night, so I think that this is a spot where they bounce back. We look at them on the money line next up we have the angels minus 175 here on the money line at home the run line is plus 110 them getting um minus one and a half there taking on the miami marlins both teams only one win so far this season miami the uh, marlins are 0 and 5 in their last five interleague starts versus is a left handed starter in their own four in their last interleague home games as well um we got the angels over is 6-0 in Sandoval's last six starts at as a home favorite. 4-0 in the Angels' last five games during two... Um, sorry, I'm re misreading my notes here. During a game, game, during game two of a series... I'm going to lean Angels here. I'm also going to be looking at the over. I don't I don't totally love the over. Uh, the over is even odds right now. That's probably the only reason I think you're getting some value. But I'm going to lean the Angels and the over in this one. Uh, next up, we have the Braves. Two and two on the season, taking on the Nationals here. One and three on the season. Um, I don't have the odds for this one as of right now, but we're going to be leaning Braves in this one. Um, we do uh, we do see them losing tonight here to the Nationals, six to one as of right now. I think this could be a bounce back spot. Every team that I said in yesterday's video is very funny. Every team that I'm like, oh, they're the better team. We're going to lean them. 
they end up getting their doors blown off tonight. So maybe on the kiss of death here. But we're moving on to the Twins taking on the Dodgers here. Twins plus 125 um, at home. <clears throat> excuse me. 125 at home. Both teams 1 and 2 to start the year. Twins getting that win against the Mariners. Even another record actually to 2-2. Two and two, And that's if it holds. Again, that game is still going on. So don't shoot me if I'm wrong about that. We're just trying to get ahead of the game here. The Dodgers are 0-4 in the last four road games versus a right-handed starter. Um, the Twins are 6-0 and in their last six versus a National League West team. I think we're going to go contrarian pick here. Definitely not what the public is thinking, but we're going to go Minnesota here. We're going to get the we're going to take the juice plus 1.5 on the run line, bringing those odds down to about 140, but we're going to lean Minnesota here plus one and a half. All right, next up, we have the Cardinals taking on the Kansas City Royals. Two and one, both of these teams are to start the year. St. Louis is minus 200 at home here on the money line. I do think that they are um, a better team than this Royals team. And now, obviously, coming off of a day's rest with their game being postponed, I do like the Cardinals to uh, to come out of this one and get the win. They are 4-0, um, or they're 7-1 in their last eight during their... <laughs> My notes are so messed. My hand is shaking. The Cardinals are... And I type my notes. So I don't even know what I mean my hands. 7-1 in the last 8 during Game 1 of a series. Um, we like that odds there. Game 1 of a series coming off of a day's rest. Let's kick some doors in here. Um, next up, we have the Texas Rangers taking on the Colorado Rockies. <clears throat> These two teams played last night. Rockies got that win 6-4 to four here. Uh, Texas minus 155 in the money line at home. Um, in the run line here, you can get Colorado at minus 150 for plus one and a half, obviously, on the uh, money on the run line there. Public, 65% of the public is looking at the Rockies, and I think we're going to do with what the Rockies are doing as well. You know, they just showed that they can compete with this team. I think we might take that minus 150 on the run line and get in a point and a half. They just take a win, maybe ride their momentum into a game tomorrow against them. Next up, Arizona hosting Houston here. Arizona plus 130 at home. Houston's 3-1 and one to start the year. Arizona is 1-3. 54% of the public likes, Arizona, uh, likes Houston in this one, and I don't blame them. I like them too. Um, these two teams played last year, um, and Houston won one, two, three, four, five out of the five out of the four, five, four out of the five against them. So we're going to be leaning Houston in this one. Um, obviously, one of the better teams in the league. Um, we're going to look at the under too. Both teams one and three to the under this season. Um, so we're going to be leaning uh, under here, which is a nine and a half total, as well as Houston on the money line. All right, second to last game, or this is the last game. Excuse me, guys. We have the Giants taking on the Padres. This game still, obviously, if the Mariners game is not done, this is another game that is not totally finished here as I'm recording this video. But on um, the Padres, minus 110. San Francisco also minus 110. The run line here, um, Padres minus one and a half, plus 140 odds there. They're three and one in the season. Depending on how this game shakes out, they're under right now. Three and one in the season. San Francisco's two and one. I think I'm going to lean the Giants in this one. Um, Padres are 0-4 in their last four Tuesday games. Could just be a really weird, really, really weird sort of... Um, uh, day for them, whereas you know the Giants look like they score a lot of runs um, as they cash overs five and one in the last six Tuesday games. So we're gonna look for the Giants to score a lot of runs here and see if the Padres can keep up with them. But um, we're gonna lean the Giants and the over in this one. But that's gonna wrap it up for the predictions portion of the video. Again, guys, we're just getting our feet wet with the MLB. So hopefully you guys do appreciate that. But if you do want to drop a ride of the day in the comments, hashtag ride of the day. You guys might know baseball better than I do. Hashtag ride of the day in the comments. I'll be jumping on board with one of you guys and you guys get a shout out in the next video, win or loss. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. And hopefully we threw, we blew through that a little bit faster than yesterday where we kind of rambled and gave you my true insights and analysis on what I'm seeing on these games. Hopefully you guys are going to like the fact that we're just cutting to the chase when we have so many games. But uh, let me know in the comments any feedback's necessary. Any feedback will be taken unless you tell me to not say thank you to the supporters. I will not take that feedback. But guys, we'll catch you guys in the next video. As always, peace out.